Hey Gemini, thanks for checking out your weekly forecast for November 28th through December 4th. This is for Gemini Sun, Moon, and Rising. We're going to connect and see what messages are coming up in the week ahead. Now you may um, see this video a few weeks, months, years after. It's all good. You're going to see it whenever you're meant to see it, whenever it's time to hear the messages that are in it. Keep in mind, this is a general reading for the collective, so not every single message is going to resonate, and that's okay. Take what does, leave what doesn't. And without further ado, my dears and my darlings, we're going to see what messages are coming up here for the Gemini collective. Let's get right on into it. And as usual, we're going to move you all just a little bit closer. And the first card we have coming up here for the Gemini Collective is the Knight of Wands. Now, Knight of Wands could be ultimatum energy. You may be giving somebody an ultimatum. Somebody could be giving an ultimatum to you. This could be a fire sign person coming in with a message. So fire sign would be Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries. Uh, sun, moon, or rising. They could be coming in with a message for you or some kind of proposition. When I see the Knight of Wands come up in a reading, uh, time is of the essence. Like there might be a decision that you have to make and there might not be a lot of time to make this decision. And usually when that happens, we freak out because we think, oh my gosh, I, I don't have time to think about this. When you're in that kind of situation, it can be stressful, but sometimes it's not necessarily that we need a lot of time. We just need to be uh, educated about something. We just need to be informed. We just need to know the facts and we need to do a little bit of research. So even though you might not have weeks or months to ponder over how you want to move forward or what you want to do about a situation, uh, you do have the ability to gather information and make the best possible decision uh, based on what your research or what your findings bring you. So sometimes the Knight of Wands, I'm not sorry, the, the Knight of Wands can come up to say that, um, like, try to resist the urge to procrastinate get busy, find out what you need to find out and decide what you want to do and make your decision accordingly because there could be a quick little change of direction coming up for you that might be a little unexpected. Like I didn't see that coming or I didn't think I was going to have to make this decision just yet or I thought I had more time before I had to think about this. Well, sometimes Knight of Wands comes up to say, nope, it's happening now, right? So something could be sped up and you may be having to make decisions sooner than you had anticipated or sooner than you had expected. For some reason, and this is coming in more intuitively, I feel like if you are a parent that's been having a situation with your child's school, something is happening where you may be deciding that you're pulling your kid out. You're like, you know what? I'm done. I'm done with this nonsense. I keep talking to you guys. I keep trying to, you know, uh, figure this out. Uh, I'm not doing this anymore. And you may be going and pulling your child out of school and trying to hurry up and figure out where am I going to put my kid? What school am I going to take my kid to? Am I going to work something out with my boss and work from home and have them do some kind of homeschooling? Um, uh, am I going to quit my job and stay home with my child and teach my child myself? Uh, you might be pondering how you're going to deal with the situation around school. I know that's super specific, but for some reason, that's the feeling and the vibe I'm getting here. And if you are watching this as an educator, I am not insulting educators in any way. I used to teach. I know sometimes teachers um, are judged very unfairly. But sometimes the schools tend to, or maybe failing children, uh, they might be doing something where uh, they're not doing something about children who are being mean to other children or creating a hostile environment. And you just might be of the mindset where you're like, I'm not, I'm not doing this anymore. I'm not going to have my kid go to school every day, uh, feeling picked on, not feeling safe, not being able to, to focus. And so I, for some of you, I feel there's something around children in school 
and having to make a decision quickly here with this Knight of Wands energy. The next card that's coming up here for the Gemini Collective is the Hanged Man. And this is a major arcana card. A lot of people don't like to see the Hanged Man because they see it as like, like nothing is happening or things are at a standstill. Well, I can tell you right now, there's no standstill with the Knight of Wands uh, here. Uh, so the other element of the Hanged Man here is going to be an awakening, seeing things from a different angle, seeing things from a different perspective. And so I feel here this is like making a decision by trying to look at all angles of a situation. And you may say, oh, there's a solution. I hadn't thought of that before, but that'll work out. I can do that. I can move things around. I can make this work in this way. So it's kind of like seeing a new approach to an old problem. That's the feeling and the vibe I'm getting here for this Knight of Wands and this uh, Hangman energy. You're, 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 you're looking at it from a different angle, a different perspective, and now you have a new approach for an old problem, and it's something that you're gonna be able to implement and make work this time around. Um, I also feel like somebody may be, uh, figuratively speaking, not literally, but figuratively speaking, um, uh, stringing themselves up, uh, <laughs> capturing themselves, putting themselves in this position. So it could be also a situation where um, uh, somebody is trying to uh, defend themselves, but they make the situation worse, or they say too much, or they give themselves away. I feel something may be happening here where someone is, is getting themselves in trouble and putting them in a bad situation. And the old saying goes, you give somebody enough rope <laughs> and, and you see what happens. And I feel this element here for some of you. It could be in a work situation. Um, it could be in a divorce situation. Uh, I feel like in uh, trying to cover certain things up or uh, cover tracks, somebody may be exposing or revealing themselves uh, in a legal setting or courtroom setting. Now, I don't do legal readings uh, and I won't do legal readings. So if you schedule a reading with me, I'm not going to do a reading on a court case. Uh, but for some reason here, intuitively, I feel that some of you who are dealing with like a court kind of situation, um, maybe there's an emergency hearing that might be coming up or uh, an emergency uh, pleading or something that's being filed based on something that's being revealed or somebody that's like accidentally telling on themselves. And it's like, well, now we need to investigate this. And now we want to find this out. And now we want to subpoena this and we want to subpoena that. So I feel somebody may also be getting themselves in trouble uh, as they're trying to cover up their tracks and get one over on you. Uh, the next card that's coming up here for the Gemini Collective is the Devil card. Now we have Major Arcana cards coming in back to back. When I have Major Arcana cards coming in back to back, it tells me big changes, big shifts in a short period of time. I want to, okay, try to get rid of that glare. Big changes, big shifts happening in a short period of time, breaking out of karmic cycles, past life agreements, uh, again, awakening, healing, ascending. Uh, these are big energies coming in back to back. Devil card can indicate that you may be breaking out of old karma, old karmic cycles, old karmic patterns. Uh, some of you may be uh, holding someone accountable for having wronged you or behaved, behaving inappropriately. You may be uh, asserting your rights. Um, I, I'm feeling almost like a, like a justice card vibe here, even though we don't have the justice card. Um, I feel here with this Knight of Wands, it could be like a confrontation. Uh, and again, somebody revealing themselves. And uh, so I, there could be some kind of karmic um, clearing here and standing up for your rights in a situation where something is like getting official, like something is going to the authorities or something is going to, to like a court of law. So you may be standing up for yourself in that way. Um, it could be, as I said, some of you could be dealing with a school situation where things aren't being handled correctly. Some of you could have a dispute 
uh, with a landlord or a housing situation that's fishy, that's not being dealt with properly. But I feel for some of you, there's, there's a feeling or a sense that somebody's trying to pull one over on you, cheat you in some way, and you're like, nope. Um, and, and you're, as you're, um, as, as you're, uh, holding them accountable, they're like telling on themselves. I feel that vibe here. And you may be experiencing this as a part of, uh, like karma you have with this person or this situation. Devil can also be Capricorn energy. If you have Capricorn placements, there could be big changes and big shifts happening for you in those houses or in those areas of your life. Some of you could be dealing with a Capricorn sun, moon rising, or Venus. That might be very significant in your life or be a very significant soulmate. For some of you, this could be Capricorn energy uh, coming in here with this devil card. The next card that's coming up here for you all is the Page of Swords. So this could be a youthful air sign person. It could be a fellow Gemini, an Aquarius, or a Libra. It could be an aspect of you and yourself um, in gathering information. Now, sometimes when I'm doing a reading, I get a little bit ahead of the cards because I'm reading the energy. And that's what I feel like is happening here with this Page of Swords. Because your first card was the Knight of Wands. And as I said, it could be that you're having to make a decision much sooner than you had anticipated and you don't have a lot of time to make this decision and you're kind of freaking out about it. And, but all we need to do is gather information and Page of Swords is a card about gathering information. And so this is going to be a card having to do with like doing the footwork, doing the reconnaissance, gathering the information and, and making a decision. If you are doing something in terms of like uh, taking a case up against a coworker at work or going through a divorce or uh, having an issue with an organization or like a school and like you're reporting them or you're wanting to take them to, to court or something. Page of Swords can sometimes come up as a warning to be cautious of what you're posting on the internet. Um, because you may have people that are gathering information to try to make you look bad or make you look a certain kind of way. You might say, oh, well, I, you know, I know everybody who's on my social media. Uh, this message has come up before for me in readings, and I've told people in a private reading, you might want to be very careful what you're putting on social media because this page of swords is giving me a feeling or a sense someone is like watching and gathering information and trying to like twist things or make things look a certain way and they're like oh no amethyst i know everyone in my social media there's no way and then i'll get an email months later oh my gosh somebody i've been talking to for two years turned out to be my ex you know they had made a fake profile i've seen it happen time and time again it could be an ex it could be a friend of me it could be someone um <laughs> is a person that you may be taking to court we just we just the candle go out so that could be confirmation so just be cautious what you're posting online and what details you're sharing online and what details you're sharing in your private messages because there could be somebody gathering information to try to manipulate a situation and make themselves look like the good guy and make you look like the bad guy. Uh, so just be careful. Be careful what you're putting on the internet um, in the coming week. I'd say in the next couple of weeks. So I thank you all for watching, Gemini. If you want to check out your moon sign and rising sign videos, there is a link in the description that will take you to the other weekly forecast. It'll be easier to find the other videos. Um, also a link in the description if you want to check out the love videos. And if you want to schedule a private reading with me, there's a link in the description that will take you to my scheduling page, calendly.com slash amethystangelite, and you can schedule a private reading with me there. I thank you all for watching, liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing. I hope you have a fabulous week ahead. Take care and be well, my darlings.